That's it. How great is dhikr? That look, every ibadah worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given some uh, upper limit. And look at the afzaliyat, the greatness of dhikr of Allah, the how great it is. That's a beautiful and excellent ibadah that if we look at salah, which comprises prostration, even salah has a limit. Even salah is five times a day. After that we see the other faraid worship, salah. After that we have hajj. You can have uh, now in front of us the beautiful month of Ramadan. Even this Allah Ta'ala has given 30 days. So every action it is based on a limit, a number, a quantity. But where Allah Ta'ala mentions his dhikr, he's written the whole Quran along with dhikr. Allah says, Kathiran Kathira. Kathiran Kathira. Do so much dhikr, so much dhikr. Get tired even if you get tired. To this extent that you become majnoon like crazy, mad. Continue to do my dhikr. So look how Allah Ta'ala loves his remembrance. How Allah loves his remembrance. Think about it. So that thing which is beloved to Allah, Allah, master of the universe, owner of the universe, who controls everything of ours. Allah says, when you, somebody does my mahabub amal, then there's no need to ask me. Without you asking, I'll give to you automatically. Even then we are dependent. And how, how much did he like it? He said, I like it so much, I like it so much. Allah has stated that this world this dunya and this dunya, whatever there is, wa fiha. Everything that's in this dunya, this thing is more beloved to me than the whole world contains. So tell me, if a person keeps true love with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, then will they not have hold this thing dear as well, beloved? Such a big, you can say, basis measurement gauge that if we have love for Rasulullah sallam, then everything of his we will love. A mother with a child, she cannot claim love. For example, she doesn't say to the child, I, lo- I love you, my, my son, my daughter, I love you, I'm your mahabub, I love it. But the action of the mother, that the third party will say that the mother doesn't hold dear more, anything else than the love that she has for the child. And she doesn't claim that, she'll never state that verbally, because she's majnoon. She's immersed in the love of the child, she doesn't care whether somebody says it or not, whether the child listens or not. So the third party, the person will say, ah, the, the mother... Loves the child. So Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His ish, the sign of our love for him is this brothers. That whatever Rasulullah sallam liked. If we love him. We can't just give false empty claims. This is not the deen on claims and false statements. And shouting out inside his hollow and nothing. No. And then this is so normal today. That, that everyone today will say. What's the proof of your love? Oh I'm your true friend. Okay, let me test my friend. You know, people will test you for your friendship. I love you so much, then that the love is tested. So here, this is such a love, subhanallah, in the universe. Nabi al-Kareem, the gracious Prophet, will you not have proof that you love him? Will you have it or not? So Allah mahabbani. that he whoever loves me, he will love my sunnah. So let's look into ourselves. How much love do we have for the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Tell me, how can we claim that we love him? What claim? Little small point. The whole deen is summarized. Man habba sunnati. Whoever loves me, then I will love him. And what a great statement. That whoever I love, ma kana ma yafi jannati. That whoever loves me, that I won't just leave him. Ma kana ma yafi jannati. I'll take him with myself into paradise. Oh, we say Allah give us jannah, Allah give us paradise, Allah... So beloved, listen to me that the dunya, whatever it contains, the whole universe, and whatever there is in the whole universe, more than that, this is more beloved to me than the whole world and what it contains. Subhanallah. And he said, so that thing that is beloved to Rasul, so shouldn't we hold that dear and beloved? Shouldn't we? Tell me, what is it that's dear and beloved most of all to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? That, look at that passion. Look at the taste of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He said, it's asr time. Say subhanallah. What time? Asr time. This is that time, isn't it, brothers? He said it may be Asr time. And it's also the sun is setting. Say Subhanallah. He said, and the sun is setting close to Maghrib. 
and there is a jama group of people subhanallah look at the jama that's sitting here asar time the sun is setting evening's coming and there's a jama of assembly of people and i sit in that group of people and i do the dhikr of allah subhanallah subhanallah tell me tell me how beloved that in this dunya whatever there is in this dunya now you bring the dunya let's have a look at the dunya in there 